Hey everyone, so I got a video comparison this time we're going to get at the best that Sony and Samsung got to offer. So on the left here is the Xperia Z5 Premium by Sony and the Galaxy Note 7 by Samsung. So like all my other tests, going to start off by powering both these on at the same time. Now one of the first things you're going to notice is that on the Z5 Premium, the fingerprint scanner is located here on the power button. And on the Galaxy Note, it's right here. Fingerprint sensor is right here where the home button is. So I'll show you guys the vote up screens. Uh, both are on the latest version of Marshmallow. And both these do have very large screens, 5.5 inches and 4K on the Z5 Premium versus 5.7 uh, and Quad HD on the Note 7. So you see there Note 7 loading up really quickly. Easily beating the Z5 Premium in the first match. And you also notice that the Z5 Premium screen is a little darker. Uh, and that's especially true when you're viewing it at an angle. So you see this is what it looks like without an angle. This is what it looks like with an angle. Uh, a little bit of an angle here on the tripod. Whereas on the Note 7, the viewing angle is definitely better with the AMOLED screen, Super AMOLED. But the Z5 Premium does have the world's first 4K screen, so big advantage there. Um, guess we'll actually I'll show you guys some of the outside of the phone first. So at the bottom here on the Z5 Premium, you have micro USB versus USB Type C, newer technology here on Note 7. Of course, this is a newer phone; it's almost a year. Uh, it is a year newer, so of course I do expect the Note 7 to perform better. But we'll see by how much. Uh, the Note 7 also has speaker here at the bottom versus dual front facing on the Z5 Premium. The Note 7 has the um, headphone jack right here versus at the top for the Z5 Premium. And then the Z5 Premium has a camera button right here. Volume rocker is here. Volume rocker on the Note 7 is right here. And the book at the back. So both these do have glass backs. Uh, you see on the Note 7, so it is obviously pretty shiny. has a little bit of a mirror effect, but not that much. And then on the Z5 Premium, it's really a complete mirror effect. As you guys see there, the tripod. Um, so yeah, both I think are really nice looking, but the Z5 Premium, just a little bit more obvious of a mirror there. Oh, and also both really fingerprint magnets, as you can probably see. Completely covered in fingerprints. Alright guys, let's go ahead and open up some of the apps. And let's make sure everything is closed out. Alright. Start off with uh, Temple Run 2. Alright, so the Z5 actually really quick there loading up. Actually winning that pretty easily, wasn't expecting that. Let's go look at some more apps. Do Chrome Waiter, CNN. All right, so pretty close there. Um, let's look at settings. I think that was a little faster on the note. Both obviously really fast though. Let's look at iFunny. Okay, so faster there on the Z5 Premium. Uh, let's look at YouTube. Alright, so faster there on the Note 7. Um, I guess we'll get Calculator next. Very close, both really fast. Uh, clock. Uh, we'll get Calendar next. 
Yeah, so obviously those three last two looked at really fast on both. Uh, let's look at another game. Let's look at us fall eight. So yeah, both these have front facing cameras of five megapixel, rear facing of 23 on the Z5 Premium and 12 on the Note 7, which just finished. Very quick there, voting up Asphalt 8. So yeah, 5 and 20, uh, 5 megapixels, 23 megapixels, 5 and 12. Uh, let's look at. Oh, and also let me just show you. I forget if I showed you or not. Um, but the brightness on the Z5 Premium is up all the way for those of you guys who are wondering. So you see there. Again, guys, just not great viewing angles on it, uh, but still a great screen regardless. Just that's the main fault of it. Um, so we'll look at photos. All right, so faster there on the Z5 Premium. And then I ran into the benchmark earlier. So yeah, not surprising the Note 7 a lot higher. Um, of course, so the uh, Z5 Premium has a Snapdragon 810 with three gigabytes of RAM versus a Snapdragon 820 with four on the Note 7. Um, this for a last year phone is really high score, 89,000. But this is the highest of any phone I own, 143,000. Uh, let me bring up the rankings. So you see there, it's the highest list of one above the one plus three. And on a Z5 Premium. So obviously you have all these phones that came out this year. Uh, but you see here where it is on the list. So a little bit higher than last year's Note 5, which came out, uh, I think a couple years or a couple months before the Z5 Premium. And I'll bring up the details. Both are pretty good scores, but again, obviously you have a 2015 versus 2016 phone, so no contest here. And let's look at eBay. Alright, so fast on the Z5 Premium. Um, I gotta say, specs aside, I think the Z5 Premium did very well here. Um, might have been about even, I think, between the two. Let me know what you guys think. Kind of forget which one. One more of the test, but let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, let's look at some more of the tests. So we'll look at camera next. Now, this is just going to be camera speed. Uh, we'll have videos up comparing the cameras more in depth. And let me try to put them on a similar resolution. So, look at 23 is the max on here. Alright, picture size. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, it's kind of hard to match up the pictures on here. I just ought to see the maximum on both. So, obviously, the Z5 uh, pushing more megapixels, but... They don't really have a similar setting, so we'll just go with their max. Alright, so obviously the Z5 Premium, uh, a little bit slower taking pictures, but obviously not that important in terms of the phone, just want to do a comparison here. Obviously, a lot more of the camera and just how fast pictures are taken. But nonetheless, see uh, the S7 winning, rather, Note 7 winning pretty easily. Um, let's bring up, I guess we'll get the fingerprint on both of them. Now, this is one of the downsides. I don't like the fingerprint, uh, fingerprint placement on a Z5 Premium. I don't like it being on the side. Because with this, for example, if I have it in my left hand, I guess I could set up a fingerprint like this with one of my other fingers, but... On the Note 7, easier just to access it from anywhere. Um, do both of them at the same time, though. Now, guys, I gotta say, um, alright, so first of all, 
with the Note 7, I haven't really set it up that well with my left finger. Usually use with my right. Show you. I think it's very reliable, very fast. Showing you an example here. Oops. So yeah, very accurate. Uh, the Z5, I really don't like the fingerprint scanner on this series. When I first got it, it really wasn't bad, but now it's really having a lot of issues with it. Um, I actually don't even have it enabled anymore. I just enable it for these speed test videos to show you guys. Uh, but I've heard from other people that the fingerprint on here kind of deteriorates over time. I did just reset it up again a couple hours ago for this test. Um, but again, as you can see, not really registering. So that's... I mean, I do love the Z5 Premium, but that's probably my main complaint is fingerprint scanner, not that good. Try it again in a few seconds when that allows it. Um, and I will show you, yeah, we'll look at Chrome and then we'll look at the sound on both. Uh, looking at some of the other specs on here, so the Z5 Premium, 32GB internal storage of micro SD card support versus 64GB internal storage also has micro SD card support on the uh, Note 7. Uh, again, both have fingerprint scanner, and now the Note 7 also has a new technology, an iris scanner, so it scans your eye. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot more uh, secure than just using a fingerprint. Uh, let's see, both are waterproof. Love that feature on both the phones. And then the S7 also has this pen at the bottom. So, okay, so it also has an always-on display. A uh, great underrated feature in my opinion here, so the display is always on, doesn't use too much battery. Shows you some of the basic stuff at the bottom here, like I have a notification here for Google Photos. Uh, shows the battery, date, all that. And then, show you the S Pen at the bottom. So this does have a lot of functions, but let's just say uh, I want to scribble a note on here. Actually, you know what, it's supposed to... Let me try it again. When you take it out, it's automatically supposed to... Um, let me try it again. Alright, yeah, that, that's what it's supposed to do. Um, but you can... Yeah, you can write whatever you want here. So let's say if I want to write a note like... Uh, let's say, buy milk. Want to buy it after coming home from work. I can save it like that. Real simple. Put the S Pen back in. And I can view the note later. Uh, so a pretty cool feature there, having the pen. Um, and again, always on display, great feature as well. Let's look at Chrome, and then we'll look at the sound on both of them, the speakers. So yeah, is this video really covering a lot of stuff? Alright, so it looks like a little faster there on the uh, Note 7. Let's look at Nintendo. All right, faster there on the Z5 Premium. Look at IGN. All right, so a little bit faster there on Note 7. Still waiting for the Z5 Premium to load this image right here. Guess Wi-Fi a little bit slow today. Um, let's look at Yahoo. Alright, so faster there on the Z5 Premium. And then let's look at CNN. Alright, so again, faster on the Z5 Premium. Uh, I gotta say guys, I think in terms of like actual usage, I think that both these phones are pretty close. Uh, not as big a difference as you would expect just looking at the specs on paper. Uh, and then last, I'm going to show you the sound on it. Also worth noting that the Z5 Premium is a whole lot cheaper than Note 7. Uh, I think you can get the Z5 Premium now for around five, six hundred dollars $600, maybe even a little bit cheaper. Whereas the Note 7 is going to cost you around $800, $900.
All right, so these aren't going to be the exact same sounds, but you'll get the point. So yeah, it sounds to me like the Note 7 is a little bit louder, although I think that the Z5 Premium is a little bit clearer. So again, this does have dual front facing speakers versus just one speaker at the bottom on the Note 7. Alright guys, so that about wraps it up. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you found more impressive. Uh, personally, I think the Z5 Premium did really, really well, all things considered. Again, it's a year older. Um, there obviously are some downsides, like just in terms of... Uh, the fingerprint scanner, you don't have some of the new technology like USB Type-C. Uh, but a lot of that comes with it being a year old. Um, but in terms of like actual day-to-day -day usage, in terms of opening up apps, all that, I think it did very, very well. Um, considering that, you know, the Note 7, that's the best that you can get on the market in terms of specs anyways. Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. Going to have a lot more videos like this coming. Uh, let me know in the video, or let me know in the comment section what you want to see next.